November 12th. Uh, I'm Stacy Clyde. Yeah, some sandy feet or whatever, you know, great to have. As well as a gate here. Um, there is a cover for this area here, and there is a table as well, too. Uh, we're in the process of taking the table to be uh, refinished. Uh, engine compartment's down below. You do have a uh, refrigerator, actually an ice maker, here as well. Uh, moving around, we're going to walk to the front of the boat. Uh, obviously all stainless steel, 316 gray stainless grab handles. You do have a shade area here. You do have a kind of a congregation kind of area as well. Uh, storage for fenders, lines, etc. there as well as here. Uh, do have an anchor windlass at the bow with control, pedal controls, as well as stainless steel cleats. In the back, one thing I did not point out, you do have uh, surround sound speakers. Two Sony speakers, as well as lights. Moving to the flybridge, this is a dual helm boat. So you do have an upper station and a lower station. Up here, you do have an electric stove, as well as a freshwater wash down. table as well as a good seating area as well. Um, one notable thing about this boat is the radar mast. We do have two Sony speakers mounted here as well as a shower which is operational by right here. Um, from an electronic standpoint you do have a, a satellite a TV antenna as well as a radar. VHF antenna, as well as a navigation light at the very top. Moving to the helm, uh, this is a, a Cummins diesel uh, boat, uh, twin 425 horsepower V drive engines. This particular boat does have the Zenta system. So the Zenta system works in combination with the engine of the boat. Uh, it really, really helps you maneuver the boat well. Um, push start here as well as Fusion Stereo, as 
spotlight control, digital readouts on the gauges, compass, E-series Raymarine plotter. So this is a touchscreen plot chart plotter. A uh, good thing about the Raymarines is you can, can configure your own Navionics software for the chart plotter. Uh, you do have a fire suppression system here as well too. This particular boat does have the Sea Keeper option, which is a gyro stabilizer. Um, incredibly popular feature. The majority of people that get a boat in this size range opt to get that option. You have your bimini up top and you have a bell back here. Keeping it traditional with the uh, bell. Moving down, we're going to take a look at the interior of the boat. One thing I'll point out, your, your galley area is toward the aft of the boat. Um, you do have a bunch of storage for you know, plates, pots, pans, all that, etc. here, as well as underneath here. A stove and a um, the stove area there, as well as a cutting board. Um, here is your refrigerator. There is a climate control system at the back of the boat. Really nice feature to have. Here you do have Bose speakers, uh, top of line speakers, um, as well as a Samsung flat screen TV. Um, you'll be able to catch your, you know, all your, your sporting events and all that as well. Um, one thing I do really like about this boat, you know, great, great congregating area here for family. All that this table does fold in uh, just helps you kind of utilize the space a little better um, here you do have a lot of access for cups and everything this this um, is for strapping your your drawers all in so you know your your dishes and everything don't move around when you're at sea you have some nice azimuth uh, champagne glasses Um, you do have, on this boat, there's a dual helm option for this, or this is the option. There's two helms on this boat. Control panel is up top. This does have the Raymarine um, E-Series chart plotter, a uh, touchscreen chart plotter. Um, you do have your Cummings throttle here. Like I said earlier, twin Cummings 225. Uh, top speed is about 21 knots, kind of a trawler, you know, hybrid trawler style boat. Uh, the Zenta docking system, I discussed that earlier, as well as the Sea Keeper here. Uh, you do have a VHF radio as well down below and a fire um, extinguisher. Uh, moving down, I, I do like the light colors of this boat. You do have a lot of open open light up top as well. You know, I definitely like that. The amount of TVs on this boat, this boat's got a lot of TVs in the staterooms. Here in your common area, you do have a Samsung, I believe it's about a 20, 22-inch TV. Um, in your guest area, you do have twin bunk beds, and there are TVs Two TVs in here, as well as a, a direct TV box and a Blu-ray player. Here is your bathroom area. And your shower is behind the door. You know, in, in this area here, you do have a climate control option as well as lights, grab handles. You do have two seats on each side. One thing that's really characteristic of European design boats, all the beds are lower 
with American style boats, everything's raised up. Um, do have natural light coming in as well as two mirrors and two lights on each side. Here you do have a, a Samsung TV, uh, remotes are here. And you do have the option to get a direct TV subscription, which will you know, come through on this, this TV as well. One thing I'll point out as well with the azimuth is all the Italian woodworking. Very nice. Moving to the master, obviously stainless steel grab handles here. Right here you do have a uh, washer dryer combo. And a lot of these bigger boats, they, they did washer dryer combos just to you know, consolidate space a little bit. Here the master, you know, obviously everything's kind of raised down below. One thing I do like about a, a lot of the azimuths is the, the windows on the sides are pretty close to the water line. So when you wake up in the morning, you know, you see the water, it's just real, you know, kind of tranquil. Kind of powder room area here, grab handle. You do have closets on both sides, you know, so wife gets one, you know, husband gets the other one. Um, climate control option in the master as well as a uh, Samsung flat screen TV. This is the largest um, bathroom or head on the boat. And the one thing I really do like about these boats is there's a lot of headroom. You know, you have a lot of headroom inside the, the master stateroom, as well as here in your V-berth. This concludes my, my video review of this uh, 2012 50 Azimut Magellano, an awesome you know, hybrid trawler style boat. And I'll uh, look forward to seeing you here soon.